Okay, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the results. This has been a couple hours after I did the experiment. And this one here is the zinc and hydrochloric acid. And you can see how black the zinc is. Um, I'm trying to kind of get it to move around a little bit. Once I swirled it, you can see all those black pieces swirling around okay in that tube because that zinc has continued um, to break down okay so that is the zinc and hydrochloric acid um, this one is the zinc and the um, copper sulfate uh, so if you look it's a little bit difficult to see um, but you can see that it is a different color now it's not that shiny silverish color anymore it's kind of a copper color um, you can see it a little bit better than uh, before. So that one has definitely changed colors. If I swirl that around, you can kind of see um, there are some pieces of solid kind of swirling around in there also down there towards the bottom, okay? So you can see that that one has definitely uh, changed. And then the last one here um, that I told you I was going to wait and see if the precipitate settled out. You can see now, I believe this is the zinc acetate. Um, one step I don't remember what it was step nine I think um, and you can see that there's definitely clear liquid on the top now and the other has settled down so just kind of wanted to show you those different results after they had set for a while um, so that you can see those reactions did produce something new